Hello, welcome to Anson Griffin's Occasion series of YouTube tutorials featuring MATLAB. Today we're doing a nice simple example of trying to plot a bouncy ball. So just let's look at that. We're trying to plot that. And just before I start doing this, I just want to go through. This is not my work. The intellectual property belongs to here. And that's the author there. I might just have a little look at that before we do anything. about that and just and just for Mr. Google. There we are. So MathWorks, uh, we're running this competition to do graphs or plots in less than 200 characters. And I took that from there. Bounce ball. Now, uh, Daniel here put in no comments, but that's because he's limited to the 200 characters. So in the one I did, I took his code it's reasonably simple, and I added a lot of comments. So let's just look at that. There we are. We can minimize that. And what we're trying to do is, ladies and gentlemen, we're trying to plot that graph. And we just took one moment of time and we just plot from it there. Okay. And we assume when the ball hits, it bounces up with the elasticity factor is 75%. So it loses 25% of its energy in the bounce. And you can see each time it gets smaller and smaller and smaller. Okay. So we tidy up as before. Uh, we define our constants here. Uh, G is 9.81 meters per second per second. Our time step is one by 10 to the minus four of a second. And we take in, uh, we're going to do 100,000 positions. So it's going to be one column at 100,000 rows and the initial height of the ball is 10 meters and the initial velocity is zero. Now, you can see here that there's a for loop and inside the for loop there's a nip step. So what we have is an unconditional loop. We're going to go around the length to y and um, that is um, 10,000, that should be 100,000. So we're going to go around 100,000 times just in case. 1e5 is 1 by 10 to the 5, so that's 100,000. And, and just remember, up is positive and down is negative. And we're using this equation in motion here for e equals u plus at. And because we're going downwards, uh, a is negative, okay. So we calculate the new velocity using equation of motion one, just there. We calculate the new height here. And then in this little if statement here, we check to see how we got to a height of zero. So if yi is less than or equal to zero, the ball is hit the ground, it rebounds. And then what will happen then is the velocity would change direction. You know, v becomes minus v and by 0.75. So we go around 100,000 times. We go around 100,000 times there. And at the end of 100,000 times, there is um, an unconditional loop and it just straight ends. We do the plot, so in the first pair there, we plot all the x values and all the y values. So that would be, on the x values would be time, and the y would be the height of the ball. And, and then we pick 3e to the 4, so that's 3 by 10 to the 4, so that's 30,000. So we take the 30,000 step and we get the y value, that's the height value at 30,000. Uh, we put in O for an orange marker. That's the face color is orange. And just in case this is confusing you, one is red, 0.5 is 50% green and zero blue. And then the marker size, the size of the ball is 15 units and the grid is on and the box is on. And there we are. Now, one final comment, my students would know that 
I'd be a big fan of putting in a title, a next label and a Y label, but this, the author didn't do it because he was trying to do it in less than 200 characters and I didn't bother changing it there. But by rights, there should be an X label and there should be a Y label. Okay, so hope that helps and thanks very much for listening.